Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss how to pull images into PowerPoint that are different sizes and make them all the same size. And coming up tomorrow will be Excel functions for human resource people. Then I'm going to do on Wednesday Google Hangout Meet. And I'm going to just talk about video conferencing in general on Wednesday. And then I decided on Friday, somebody asked me about recording audio for their staff meeting. And so I suggested to use OneNote because you can pull the audio in there. Or you can just record the audio within OneNote. And you can even bookmark the audio. And you can take pictures of any flip charts and convert it to text. So that'll be on Friday. But today, let's worry about PowerPoint. I'm going to start a new presentation. I already have one running. I'm going to put in a new slide and I'm going to do title only. And then I'm going to put in four images. So if I go to insert picture, there are some pictures of a restaurant right down from the Fox Theater in Atlanta called East Scorpion. And what I want to show you is if I go to details, over here to the right, you won't see it by default, but if you right click, you can go see the dimensions. These pictures are not the same size. So I'm going to go back to large icons. I'm going to pick that image. Two, three, four images. I could have done as many as I wanted to, but the key is they're not the same dimension. So when I hit insert, there they are. If you have Office 365, one of the coolest features is Design Ideas. Now, if it doesn't show up, let me show you how to get there. Go to Design, tab at the top, and over to the far right, click, then it'll appear. And if I click here, pretty cool, huh? I'm going to add the name of the restaurant. And if you don't like the first design idea, you can just scroll through here. And you can see what's happening. That's pretty nice. Anyway, whichever one you want, I'm going to go back to that one right there. Actually, that one. So that's an, that immediately resized all the images and made them the same size. Or, as you can tell, that image is larger right there. Or it just lays them out for you. But I know not everyone has Office 365. So let me show you how to still do it. I'm going to put in a new slide. I'm going to just put in a blank slide. I'm going to go put those images in again. I'm going to close this. So act like you don't have Office 365. <clears throat> I don't care what images you pick. One, two, three, four. Insert. Close that. Don't worry about it. Picture Tools Format, go to Picture Layout. So this will work if you don't have Office 365. And if you mouse over these, it's basically going to convert those to SmartArt. So I would pick either something like this, or the one to the right, which is here, or the one below it, something where you can see all the four pictures. I tell you what, I'm going to go with this one right here. So if you notice, Immediately, all four images are the same size, even though they had different dimensions initially, because that's smart art working for you right here. But I really don't want these text boxes. So control, uh, press escape first, then do control shift and the letter G, and then do control shift G again. And if you notice, selected are the four images but also selected are the four text boxes. So everything got grouped and ungrouped with Control Shift G. The trick here is you need to unselect the images. So hold down the Shift key. Here's image one, image two, three, image four. So now just the four text boxes are selected. Press your Delete key. So now I've got four images all exactly the same size on my PowerPoint slide. So that's a really cool tip, I believe, to help you out with PowerPoint.